Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Maharani Amalia I'm a student at Antasari Islamic State University Banjarmasin Majoring in Mathematics Education Local Mathematics Education C2018 In this video, I will explain about area of triangles, quadrilateral, and circle I made this video to fulfill a course assignment English format the lecturer Mr. Ahmad Wafani Zami MPD Happy watching! Area of triangles, quadrilaterals, and circles Triangles A triangle is formed by three sides with three angles bounded by a segment Additionally, the total angle of the triangle is 180 degrees. Next type of triangle. Based on the side line, the triangle is divided into three parts, namely, first, equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle is a triangle with three equal sides. Second, isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle is a triangle whose two of the three sides are equal. Third, any triangle. Any triangle is a triangle whose three sides are different in length. Meanwhile, based on the angle, the triangle is divided into three parts too, namely, first, Acute triangle. An acute triangle is a larger triangle with an angle less than 90 degrees. Second, obtuse triangle. An obtuse triangle is a triangle with one angle of more than 90 degrees. Third, a right triangle. A right triangle is a triangle in which one angle is equal to 90 degrees. Area of triangle. The area of triangle is defined as the total region that is increased by the three sides of any particular triangle. To find the area of a three-sided polygon, we have to know the base, usually symbolized by letter B, and H, usually symbolized by letter H of it. The unit, the area, is measured in square units. Example, meter square, centimeter square, and the other. Next, area of a triangle formula. Area of a triangle formula is A equals a half times B times h and bracket perpendicular h in the unit is square unit where a equals area of triangle b equals base a equals h example find the area of the following triangle from the picture we know that the base of triangle is 8 centimeters and the height of the triangle is 11 cm. To find the area of the triangle, use formula A equals a half times B times H. We substitute B with A and H with 11. So, A equals a half times 8 times 11. We multiply 8 by 11. The, the result is 88. Next, we multiply a half by 88. And the result is 44. So, the area of the triangle is 44 cm square. Quadrilateral. A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon 
having the sum of interior angle were equal to 360 degrees. Properties of quadrilaterals Every quadrilateral has four vertices and four sides enclosing four angles. The sum of interior angle is 360 degrees. Type of quadrilaterals First is square, second is rectangle, third is parallelogram. Four is rhombus, five is guide, six is trapezoid. Let's discuss them one by one. Square. A square is a shape that has four equal sides and all the angles are equal and right. Area of square. The area of the square is the product of the two sides of the square. It is also known as squares of the sides. The unit of the area is in square units. Area of square formula is A equals S times S equals A square. Square a equals area of square, S equals side. Example, find the area of the following square. In the picture, we know that the side of the square is 7 meters. To find the area of square, we enter the side with formula. Area of square formula is sides times sides. We substitute sides with 7. So, A equals 7 times 7. And the result is 49. So, the area of the square is 49 meter square. The next is rectangle. A rectangle is a rectangular shape that has the pairs of parallel sides and the four angles are right angles. Area of rectangle. The area of rectangle depends on its sides. Basically, the formula for area is, is equal to the product of length and or width of the rectangle. Area of rectangle formula is A equals L times W, where A equals area of rectangle, L equals length, W equals width or width. Example. Find the area of the following rectangle. From the picture, we know that the length of rectangle is 30 meters and width of the rectangle is 30 meters. To find the area of rectangle, we use formula A equals L times W. We substitute L with 20 meters and W with 30 meters. So, A equals 20 times 30. And the result is 1500. So, the area the rectangle is 1,500 1, meter square. The next is parallelogram. A parallelogram is a rectangular shape that has two pairs of parallel and equal.
well sided and took pairs of opposite angles. Area of parallelogram. To find the area of the parallelogram, multiply the base of the perpendicular by its base. Area of parallelogram formula is A equals B times H. In the unit is square unit. Where A equals area of parallelogram, B equals this, A equals A. In example, find the area of the following parallelogram. From picture, we know that the base of parallelogram is 12 cm and height of parallelogram is 6 cm. To find the area of parallelogram, we use formula A equals B times substitute B with 12 cm and A with 6 cm. So, A equals 12 times 6. The result of 12 times 6 is 72. So, the area of Parallelogram is 72 cm square. The next is rhombus. A rhombus is a two dimensional shape formed by four equal sides and has two pairs of non right angles, each of which is equal to the angle opposite it. Area of rhombus. The area of rhombus can be defined as the amount of space enclosed by a rhombus in a two-dimensional space. Area of rhombus formula is A equals D1 times D2 over 2, where A equals area of rhombus, D1 equals Diagonal 1, B2 equals diagonal 2. Example, find the area of the following rhombus. In the picture, we know that the length of diagonal 1 is 12 cm and the length of the diagonal 2 is 10 cm. To find the area of rhombus, we use formula A equals D1 times D2 over 2. We substitute diagonal 1 with 12 and diagonal 2 with 10. So A equals 12 times 10 over 2. 12 times 10, the result is 120. A equals 120 over 2. And the result of 120 over 2 is 60. So, the area of rhombus is 60 cm square. Next is kite. A kite is a shape formed by two pipes of sides that are the same length but not parallel and these sides form different angles. So, that the kite will form two diagonals with different angles. Area of type. Area of a type is given as half of the product diagonals, which is same as that of a rhombus. The diagonals of a type are perpendicular.
perpendicular. Area of sky formula is A equals a half times B1 times B2, where A equals area of sky, B1 equals diagonal 1, and B2 equals diagonal 2. Example, find the area of the following height. Look at the picture. From the picture, we know that the line of diagonal 1 is 12 and the line of diagonal 2 is 16 cm. To find the area of height, we use formula A equals a half times B1 times B2. We substitute B1 with 12 and B2 with 16. So, A equals a half times 12 times 16. We multiply 12 by 16. The result is 192. Next, we multiply a half by 192 and the result is 96. So the area of the site is 96 cm square. The next is trapezoid. A trapezoid is a shape formed by four sides, two of which are parallel to each other but not some length. Type of trapezoid. First is isosceles trapezoid. An isosceles trapezoid, which is a trapezoid that has a pair of equal sides. This trapezoid has one pole and one rotational symmetry. Second, right angle trapezoid. A right angle trapezoid is a Type of trapezoid that has two right angles. This trapezoid has no fault symmetry and only one rotational symmetry. Third is any trapezoid. Any trapezoid, which is a trapezoid where all four sides are not the same length and do not have right angles. This trapezoid has no fault symmetry and only one rotational symmetry. Area of trapezoid. Area of trapezoid is the region covered by a trapezoid and in a two-dimensional plane. Area of trapezoid formula is A equals a half times B times in bracket AB plus CD, where A equals area of trapezoid, A equals K. Example, find the area of the following trapezoid. Look at the picture. From the picture, we know that the length of side AB is 9 cm. And the length of side CD is 4 cm. And the height of trapezoid is 12 cm. To find the area of trapezoid, we use formula A equals a half times K times in bracket AB plus CD. We substitute K with 12, AD with 9, CD with 4. We first add what is in the bracket. 9 plus 4 equals 13. So, A equals a half times 12 times 13. We multiply 12 by 13. The result is 126. 
as we multiply a half by 156 and the result is 60 and the result is 78 so the area of the trapezoid is 78 centimeter square circle the circle is a locus of a point moving around a fixed point at a fixed distance away from the point basically a circle is cross curve with its outer line equidistant from center the fixed distance from the point is the radius of the circle the terms used in the case of the circle first is the radius the radius of the circle is the line which brings the center of the circle to the other boundary it is usually represented by small r or big r the second is diameter the diameter of the circle is the line which divides the circle into two equal parts. It is usually represented by small b or big g. Area of the circle. Area of the circle is the region affected by the circle in a two-dimensional plane. It can be determined usually using a formula. Area of the circle is a equals b times r squared. In the units, it's square units, where A equals area of circle, T equals 22 over 7, or 3.14, R equals radius. Apart from using the radius, the area of a circle can also be found using the diameter. The formula is A equals a quarter times p times d square and the unit is square units where a equals area of a circle p equals 22 over 7 or 3.14 d equals diameter area of the following circle. From the picture, we know that the radius of the circle is 7 cm. To find the area of circle, we use the formula A equals B times R times R. B equals 22 over 7. R is substituted with 7. So, A equals 22 over 7 times 7 times 7. We have simplified this 7 with this 7. So, A equals 22 times 7. We multiply 22 by 7 and the result is 134. So, the area of the circle is 134 cm square. Thanks for watching my video. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.